too smart going by yourself with a two or three year old. But I see stuff out on that lake all the time. You just like, get rid of that quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. just see what they're in and what they leave out trying to go do. Good morning, everyone. Let's call this meeting to order for Commissioner's Court for Monday, August 19th, 2019 at 10 a.m. Uh, for discussion of the FY 2020 proposed budget to be filed for public inspection. Um, basically, what happened is we have had, we had a uh, formula error that occurred uh, with Marsha's formulas that she had developed her spreadsheets that she had developed over the years and in the transition it, it did a double entry so it affects only the general fund and so what we brought you is these are the options that we looked at and the budget that you have in front of you is um, option number two and what it does what we did was we went through and we upped, we also took the opportunity to go ahead and update all the information for the auditor's office expenses, so that those are all correct because the hearing is on Wednesday morning. Um, and then we went ahead and updated some information that we had received since we were going to meet anyway with the group because uh, we wanted to make sure all of you were informed about it. And so what we're offering is to go with option two, uh, which leaves the $215.32, and you can see the modifications that have been recommended. All of those modifications um, basically have impact on different things that we had agreed to use uh, IAH funding for. So it doesn't affect Road and Bridge, but it does affect those uh, expenditures down below, which was maintenance, IT. Um, we also updated the Sheriff's Office certificate pay. That went up. And um, the health care benefits trust. So what was the uh, bottom line? Was the first one, was it estimated too low or was it too high? Uh, the revenues were estimated too high because when we did the transition, there was a double entry. So can I have a- $215 difference? Uh, no, sir. The difference, the total change in expenses is right there, the 124.084. That's a change in expenses. And the change of revenue is right above. But what that would leave in our general fund balance would be $215.32. We did look at the option of going to a 97% collection rate, which Leslie had already told us she was comfortable with. But the court has been more comfortable staying with a 96, and so we stayed with a 96. So basically, these are just the changes. Instead of going through the whole book again, page by page, these are the changes that we have, that we did. And so, we, but we went ahead and printed you out a new one. So you're not decreasing anything? No, sir. The only thing we're decreasing is the IT, the maintenance, the OEM, because those are the ones that have IH monies attached to them. And we've done, if you will recall, we did a lot of the maintenance um, building changes when we, when we first started putting the IH monies in there. 
And so the majority of the major things have been done. And on that, that part of that was for um, to try to implement the changes over at the annex. Certificate pay actually went up. Yes, sir. Certificate pay went up and related expenses to that. And some of these are fees also that got changed by the state, by the legislature. I know that, well, that's one of the things that Bobby is paying close attention to also is the e-file fees and some of the other fees that are, that the legislature changed in this past session. I know we haven't got through this year yet, but next year when they put the cap on us, things like you have that's mandated, how's that going to affect us? It's going to affect us a lot. Okay. Anything else on this? Can I have a motion to move forward with it? Uh, actually, can I make a, I'd like to say something if it's okay. Sure. Um, I am 100% with transparency. And I think that we've changed the budget now, because I just saw it now, like when I walked in here for the auditor's department. I'm not, I don't think it's separated out enough. For example, there's, we get a supplement from probation, but it makes it look like the county's now paying it from That's what I'm looking at here. Yes, sir, because Thanks. that was the agreement with the judges. Okay. okay, well, I never got to talk to the judges. Yeah, um, well, that was what the judges had requested. When because I'm not sure they know what they agreed to, though. Well, then, okay. then I'm I just, can't help I'm just them saying, with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, because you know, just they saying. have discussed that over the last three years, to my knowledge. Okay. And there's mm -hmm. other things in here, too, that need to be separated out, like, for example, um, you're now taking, I have a travel allowance, like everyone has a travel allowance, whether I should or shouldn't, I still have it. And it's now part of my salary. And I think it should still stay as travel allowance, but say auditor next to it so that everybody knows it's mine. And for, I'm just, just saying, you know, for example, if you look at the commissioners, uh, their departments, they have a travel allowance and it says travel allowance commissioner. If you look at, at yours, it says travel allowance. It doesn't say travel allowance judge. And I think we need to make everything consistent. Okay. So that everyone Okay, so sees you, what, you know. after our discussion Friday, you said it made no difference to you where the travel allowance went. Yeah, so you yeah, want it, your tra travel I, allowance back in? Well, until I, I looked at the rest of the, the stuff, and I only had like five minutes to look at this. Okay, um, but on Friday, when you and yeah, I discussed I it, you said you wanted to do that. Yeah, I understand. Okay, so yeah. now you want us to t change that. Well, I was looking at, I didn't look, you know, we were talking about me only. I, yes, I mean, everybody knows. I want people to know it's me, not that it's just, you know, that, and that it's, it's not my standard salary, it's my travel allowance, just like everyone else's. Okay, but so, part, of, part of the issue with yeah. the travel allowance in terms of the auditor's office, yeah. right, was that the travel allowance that was set up doesn't reflect the amount of travel. I mean, this ca I, in I this understand. guy's case. I understand. And so that's why I said I'd do it okay. however you want. I mean, okay. if you want to put $4,400 back in there for travel allowance, I certainly and put will. my name. That and makes you put no my name on it. To me. You, you know, but that's fine. But it's I'm just trying to make sure that every department, yeah, and everything and says the same for each department. That yeah, people no, are that's not a problem at all. There's some confusion, you know. Well, but that's why when you okay. look at the wage, the at the wage mm -hmm. sheet. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you look at the wage sheet, everybody's travel is under their department. Yeah, I, I understand. But if it's specifically for, for example, it's specifically for a commissioner, 
our, the way our accounts are set up, it says travel allowance commissioner. So everyone knows that the commissioner is getting that travel allowance. That's and the way it's set up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, okay. But it's not that way in all departments. There's, there are okay, some what departments. Other, what other department? Well, your department. The judge's department says travel allowance. It doesn't say judge. Okay. Okay. That's so fine. I'm just trying to make everything. You no, know, that's not a problem whatsoever. Well, I, I knew it wouldn't be. I'm just trying. To, <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm trying to make sure that everybody when they, they look that. at stuff, they can say, okay, I understand. Well, okay. Like, for clarification, yeah. should it say? Because I'm looking at yeah. road and bridge, and it doesn't it just says travel allowance. Well, the so one I, I have, the one I had said travel allowance, but it said commissioner next to it. I think. So is that the wage sheet yeah. that you're looking at? I, I'm not. I'm not so this book sheet. here is probably just yeah. going to say. Just yeah. on the, not not I don't think it's going to say that in this book. We'll have to look yeah, and see. Yeah. I think in the budget in the, it's not going to. In the, in, the, in, the, in the other sheet. in the wage it, sheet it does. It's broken okay. out in the wage sheet. I'm just trying to, to you know yeah. like for example when I do the monthly auditor report and, and everyone sees the expenses they can't see that it says which specific know. person. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. And no, I think that's not a problem whatsoever. Okay. okay, so back to the auditor's office. Yes. You want us to put the travel back in for you? Yes. Very Unless well. it's a problem. It's not a problem for okay. me. I was going off of what yeah, you and I, I discussed on Friday. I understand, but that okay. was before I had a chance to look at everything else. So. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah. how much do you want us to put in travel for you? Whatever it was Whatever. before. <laughs> okay. No, no change. <laughs> Go back to the yeah. same number. Yeah. Okay. See, because like on ours, it's listed down here in this particular book. You have the elected official salary up here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then the and travel. And then it's travel at the, the bottom. Right. Yeah. yeah. At the which, bottom here. Which, which is okay that, as long as it says what it's for. And it says elected official up here, salary and benefits, and then mm -hmm. the others, you know, so. Mm -hmm. well, so. No, no I'm, not, I'm wrong because salaries is in here on the uh, third line for your employees. Yes. Yes. yes I, I'm following. Yes. I, and I, so I, what he wants is clarification. But on that, mm -hmm. on that wage sheet, it is right on it. Oh yeah. The other one sure. you have is you got your name. But I'm not sure people yeah. are looking at the wage sheet. Yeah. They're looking yeah. At the, yeah. They're the top, probably not. The top sheet. Yeah. Not a problem. We got that. Okay. Can I have a motion? Motion, Commissioner Vincent. Sir. Now, if I'm looking at this right, mm -hmm. the other day, when I was the 13th. A lot of these numbers have changed since then. I've stood two, two million four hundred forty thousand, two million four hundred eighty thousand, to two hundred eighty thousand on the vehicle tax is three ten now. Correct, because that was where the double entry occurred. On each one of those things? Not on each one of them, but on some of them did. Now on the on the vehicle uh, sales tax, we got an update on that, so we bumped it on up to the three ten. Right. So when but what I, I we mean, did? That's, that's just what I'm looking. There's a lot more change over here than 124,000, and I'm just trying to figure out. Why. Oh yes, sir. So that's what we did. For we, well, all of those, all of the top are all going to be the same, right? Because the total change in revenue got applied to every option. See if you go straight. If you if you look so, at the so you, so the, the you added too much to the to the taxes. Yes, sir. There was a double. There was a double entry that occurred to, to there the because of the spreadsheet formula. And then you come back and you added to right. the others. And so then when we received those up updates, we went ahead and put the updates in there, right, to reduce the impact. And then we went in and put in, you know, what our recommendation would be did this error occur last year no sir it occurred in the transition when we went from the spreadsheets that Marsha had been utilizing and we did the transition into the new program then there was a double entry that occurred and and Marsha never caught it and I never caught it and Carrie never caught it no you know nobody caught it and so so now we're just correcting it that was going from the old way to the new way yes sir yes sir once we get it now that we have it in the new way then now we will his, have historical data that will carry us over and carry us over and carry I keep us telling over you, I'll play that change ain't always that good so moved 
Okay, so I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion or questions? Yeah, I got one. Sir. I, I noticed in that compression deal that there were some employees that, that didn't get a raise at all. Is there any way we can uh, figure a percent cost of living raise for the employees other than road bridge? Just leave us out of it and figure out giving them a one, two, three, whatever. If we did, if we did a cost of living, then we would have needed to raise the taxes, the tax rate this year, because you're talking about three hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand dollars to do a cost of living adjustment. Yes, sir. Well, it it doesn't always lean to a tax increase. There could have been some uh, some cuts possibly uh, to absorb that. Right now, we don't have three hundred fifty thousand dollars to to cut or absorb. Well, I always preach to your predecessor that <clears throat> probably a priority ought to be giving these employees a raise, and that ought to be done first, and then everything else filter down either cut or whatever needs to be done. But that's just my personal opinion. Uh, Commissioner Willis, we have done a cost of living adjustment, or compression, or an increase in salary every year for the last three years four now i mean we're just trying to get everybody leveled out right and so this will be the last year of the compression last year we did not only a, an increase but we also did the compression the salary survey we had some people who got an increase of 16 percent last year did we agree that the uh, compression was not to cut any salaries the compression did not cut any salaries. I think it did one in the sheriff's office this year. Uh, Who got a cut in the sheriff's office? Can't remember the name. Uh, it was pointed out to me this morning that there was one. No, sir. No, nobody got a reduction. There was a 2.5 percent okay. increase or more. So, if there was a reduction, it's an error that can be corrected. Yeah, if they if they bring it to us, then we can look at it and see. But no, nobody should have gotten a reduction. And multiple people. Did you, do you know about anybody, Mark? Uh, no, sir. Would it have meant somebody you hired in, one of them left and you hired in, or is it a long term employee? I didn't look at the name. I was just showing, was showing the figures, and I'll have to go back and get that, but I'll certainly get it up there. That'd be great, because nobody has told us about it. We had 2.5% at the Sheriff's Department, no less than 2.5% up to 16 percent that was the that was the sheriff's department and the jail were the ones most impacted by increases and then we give them how much on and then top they got of that an eight, additional eighty thousand so you we had a couple of people over there that got i think it was up to six five five or six step increase in the sheriff's department alone i'm sure they needed it well uh, they got it, so they should be happy. Okay, I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Very well. Okay, Commissioner Overstreet. Motion to adjourn. Commissioner Purvis. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a good day. Thank you. Glad I could so Thanks for covering for us, Jamie. I get frustrated by Bob for seven, not doing it soon seven, enough seven, sometimes. <laughs> What? I said I get fussed at you sometimes for not doing it soon enough. Yeah. He was, he was thanking me for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>